The Canary System, the diagnosis of dental caries, is presented by Kathy Tazewski, RDH. Now, I know as a hygienist and being a hygienist that works in a private practice and you all being hygienists wonder how can I put one more thing into my practice? I'm already way too busy as it is. Now, the way that we have developed this into our practice is when I have a patient in for a recall, I will clean their teeth, do everything that I need to do for that, that appointment. I explain to the patient that we have this new technology, the canary system, that will actually find decay much faster and much earlier than we have ever been able to do before. We will be able to find decay before it shows up on x-rays, which is, which is the best thing about this product. So what, once people have agreed to go ahead and have a couple of teeth scan, we then, I will call the dentist in to say that, I will buzz them to say that I'm ready for them to come and do a check. While I'm waiting for that dentist to come in, I may pick one or two teeth that I'll check around an old restoration. So that when the dentist comes in, the scan is there, it's on the report, and we can tell the patient what is going on with that tooth. The other way that we implement it into our practice is if I have a patient like an ortho patient that needs a full appointment, I explain to the parents that we need to have a full appointment that I can do a full scan on this patient, have a baseline, and then we will continue booking appointments throughout the ortho uh, process so that we can monitor the decalcification. And in that way, I book a separate appointment, have them come back in, do a full scan, the patient goes away with a report, we have everything on file, it goes into our canary cloud so we, have, we can then track what is going on with that patient. If we have an older patient that has a lot of old restorations like amalgams, as we know, we can't see on an x-ray if there's decay unless it's on the mesial or the distal and it's quite advanced. When we're scanning around an old restoration, we can actually pinpoint around on the occlusal or interproximal what is going around what sorry what is going on around an old restoration that is the way that we have found that has the greatest impact in our practice because we all have patients that have those old amalgams and sometimes we don't know if that shadowing or casting of gray is that decay or is it actually just a shadow the thing that is incredible about the canary is we are able to determine the difference. I have found so many times in the last year when I have scanned a tooth that I think, oh my God, this is going to be awful. Like this tooth, it looks black, it's dark gray, the margins just don't look great, and I get a really low number. I'll get a 16 or 17. And the opposite has happened that I've scanned around an old restoration that I don't think I think it, I'm going to get a fairly low number and I'm getting 60s and 70s. The incredible thing is we can't just look at a tooth and know what is going on. We've all been in that situation where we look at a tooth, are we going to watch it? You know, you know, how many times do we write down, oh, let's observe what's going on in this tooth. The canary takes that guessing away. We now definitively can tell if there's decay or not around old restorations. Now, a lot of people think if that's the case, we're going to go in and we're going to fill everything and change everything. That's not what this is meant for. If you have somebody that has a lot of high numbers around old restorations, you explain to them that this is something that we have found much earlier than we'd ever be able to find before. This isn't going to show up on x-rays, but we can now monitor these areas. So if you have a young person in and you're getting high numbers around restorations, you know you want to do these fairly soon. But if you have somebody in who's a little bit older, you may want to monitor the numbers to see how they're progressing. They might be just very stable at, at the numbers that they're at.